New day, new beer. Right. It is the 9th of December already. Oh, let's do it. Oh, nice and dark brown color there. Slightly leathery off, sort of off brown head on that one. I'm far less confident in this uh, this tech territory with the sort of darker beers than I am with IPAs and sours. So we'll see how this goes. Ooh, all right. Uh, right up right up front, I'm getting a bit of ca coffee. Um, a little roastiness. Um, getting the color brown. <laughs> no, dark, dark malts. Yeah, don't try that one at home. Just sniffed a bit of beer there. Hmm. 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 Not, not the uh, recommended way of imbibing. Ah, but uh, sort of vanilla, coffee, roast. Um, and yeah, there is other oh, notes there. A little bit of sherry oxidation. Yeah, not, not a whole lot more I can say on that, the nose there. Let's go for a taste. Whoa. Whoa. All right. So that tastes big. That tastes bigger than I was expecting. That does... If I hadn't known better, I would say that was over 4.7%. I do know better. And I do know it's under 4.7%. Uh, so... Whoa, crazy. There has to be something in the body there pumping that up. Lactose? Maltodextrin? Uh, who knows? But um, I think I think the body clears it up a little bit more for me. I think that um, I'm getting a lot of brown ale notes and a little bit of coffee. Um, a lot of uh, caramel malt sweetness um, and not a whole lot of the the dark roastiness that I would that I would get from a, from from a, from a stout or a porter. Um, I had a thought on the on the nose that it was barrel aged, and I don't think that's the case. I, I just I don't know. I can't I can't really express why. I just I don't think that anymore after tasting it. So I'm uh, maybe maybe those malto like natural malted extra coming from the from the um from the caramel malts could be what it is, or maybe there's lactose added. Who knows? But I'm gonna go with a straight brown ale, maybe coffee added. Not sure, um, and and maybe lactose on the body, but again, maybe it's just lots of caramel malts. So, hmm. Who would have thought that you could fit a decent war winter warmer in under four point seven? Certainly not me, but uh, brown ale, I think. Right, let's find out. <sighs> Wrong again, dude. Dude, all right. Oh, so it's a it's a chocolate stout. Chocolatia, it's called. It's got sweet chocolate and roasted malts. Uh, do we have anything added to it? Lactose. That's where the body was coming from. Picked up on that at least. I did not pick up the chocolate. No oh, man, no oh, man. I still don't. You know what? I mean, I've, I've thought the same thing about the last two beers that I have been wildly wrong about, but... Okay, well, not so much with, with Uniten, because there, it's only so much given away on the label. But but after finding out what it is, certainly on uh, Le Le Soul, uh, I thought, you know what, I'm wrong, but that is definitely what I tasted. Uh, and it's it's the same same here. Like, I'm wrong, it, it's, a, it's a stout, and it's not a brown ale. Uh, and I didn't taste any chocolate, I tasted, tasted coffee, and it tasted like a brown ale to me. Uh, I'm wrong about that, but that's what it tastes like to me. It certainly tastes like a brown ale. Um, maybe that's just the, uh, <laughs> maybe that's just the condition I'm in right now. Mm. Certainly getting coffee and, um, and vanilla notes on the, on the nose, and certainly getting that, that brown ale's kind of sweetness on the, on the body. Probably not caramel malt in there. Maybe the, the com combination of lactose 
and roasted malts comes together to give the same, like an equivalent sort of experience as, as caramel malt that apparently confused me when it was blind. So that's interesting. I think that's incredibly good to be under 4.7%. That's like, this is taking the lessons from Humble Shake and throwing it over into the stout world and God damn, does it work? Heck yeah. I'm gonna enjoy finishing this. I'm gonna enjoy finishing this slowly, even though it's under 4.7%. How many times have I said that today? Uh, I mean, it, it, it experiences, like you experience it as more of a nipper, like, like not something you wanna drink quickly. Something that, that's nice to sort of let it, let it warm up a little bit, experience it slowly, uh, and, and just take it as, it as it comes and enjoy it. Uh, like the opposite of when people say chuggable about, about like a dry IPA, that they just want to throw the whole thing back. This, is, this, is, this has a little bit more... Uh, uh, is what I'd say in Norwegian. Like resistance, drinking resistance. Um, yeah. But you know, absolutely delicious and, and something unique so far in the calendar. Uh, so more of this. Uh, please. Actually, unique, generally. I haven't had many beers that have been like this under 4.7% at all. More of that, please. Alright, uh, that'll do it. See you tomorrow.